In this video, we will be studying about the fixed exchange rate system. See, fixed exchange rate system includes two systems. Number one, what's here? Gold, standard, system of exchange rate. Which means that first you used to change your currency in terms of gold. This was used before 1920s. Right? So gold was taken as a common unit. Between two countries between currencies of different countries each currency was to define the value of its currency in terms of gold let's say one UK pound was for four gram of which means you have de defined your one unit of currency in terms of gold. Similarly, you have to find that one US dollar could buy only two grams of gold. In this case, what you have done, you have to find your one US dollars is equal to your two grams of gold. So the exchange rate was the ratio between the US can US gold rates that is UK was 4 grams and US was 2 grams so it is the ratio of 2 is to 1 which means that your 1 UK is equal to your to US dollars. So the exchange rate between the UK and US was 1 is to 2. That is means for 1 UK, UK you have to pay 2 US dollars. So in this way your exchange rate was determined in gold standard system of exchange rate. This is also called as mint par value of exchange or the other name is mint parity. Mint value of a currency implied gold value of that currency which means 1 UK pound is equal to 4 gram of gold. So you have expressed your currency in terms of gold and then it is compared so the ratio becomes your exchange rate. So this is your gold standard system of exchange rate. Now the second is in the fixed exchange rate is your Britain Wood system of exchange rate. See the Britain Wood system is again a fixed rate of exchange that is determined but it allows some adjustments. It was used after 1920 to 1977. And after 1977, it was replaced by the flexible exchange rate. Now, what was the Britain Wood system? The Britain Wood system of exchange rate was also known as adjustable peg system of exchange 
state. So in this case, what used to happen? The major currency was chosen, right? So which is the most powerful currency now? And right now is U.S. dollar because it has a major share in the international monetary fund. So U.S. is the major power these days, a high power country and a high currency. So every currency were pegged to one currency like your rupee, your dinar and then your Australian dollar, right, yen and other currencies. These used to be pegged into the one single currency that is the US dollar. So US dollar was then assigned a value of gold at a fixed price gold value at a fixed price so value of one currency in terms of US dollar ultimately implied value of currency in terms of gold so for this now you do not have to calculate the rupee also in gold dinar also in gold US dollar and also in gold no only US dollar was determined in terms of gold all the other currencies were packed as in the US dollar that is the one unit currency now when you express the US dollars in terms of gold ultimately the value of currencies comes into the term of gold gold continued to be the ultimate unit of parity between the any two currency adjustment in the parity of value was possible but only if allowed by the IMF International Monetary Fund. A little of adjustment was allowed only if it is agreed by IMF that is the International Monetary Fund. So these are the two systems of your fixed exchange rate system. Now merits and the merits of fixed exchange rate system. First let's understand the merits. Fixed exchange rate system means that your exchange rate will not change right it will be fixed so what happens the merits are market stability and mobility of capital see if the foreign exchange is same what happens it will stabilize the international money or the exchange rate which means the exchange rate won't change so traders and investors are not exposed to uncertainties like if you invest in India and suddenly the you know dollar Indian currency depreciated means dollar has appreciated in terms of Indian currencies and this is a point of favor for you but if you have invested US dollars into Indian currency and Indian currency is appreciated in case of US dollars which means now before one US dollar was 64.60 and now one you have invested in this price but now one US dollar is 57.60 so your rupee has appreciated in this case so your traders will suffer loss so this is to avoid the uncertainties so there is a market stability and mobility of capital if there is fixed exchange rate that means there is no change in the exchange rate second is encourages international trade 
if the exchange rate is same the exports and imports will be more as there will be no risk of the ex uh, the change in the currency rate third is your macro economic policies because of in a fixed exchange rate you can make the macroeconomic policies for the exchange rate for the long period which means that the exchange rate will not change and the policy you uh, make keeping it in mind the same exchange rate which is prevailing so it promotes bilateral trade agreements fourth is your avoid speculations because of fixed exchange rates uh, speculations is avoided in the international money market that your exchange rate is fixed so you invest in india or you invest in some other country right there will be no exchange in the exchange rates if india is bring exchange for 60 one dollar is exchange for 64.60 rupees and if one yen is exchange for 22.60 rupees it will be same so there will be no speculations in that case that you buy one us dollar from here and you sell one us dollar from here so this is a speculation you are earning money in that part by buying it from this country and selling in this in this country a check on inflation A fixed exchange rate keeps the government under pressure to combat inflation because if prices in the domestic markets are high, the demand for our exports in the foreign market will reduce if there is inflation in the domestic market. So our foreign exchange starts reducing and reserves of foreign exchange starts shrinking. So it helps on the check of inflation. The demerits of your fixed exchange rate number one is huge reserves of gold. See, there are if you have to, you know, change your currency and value it in terms of gold, you require a huge reserves of gold this is because different countries are directly or indirectly convertible into gold in the fixed exchange rate system so huge reserves of gold are required second is huge gold reserves hinders movement of capital See if you have kept all of your currency in the reserve as a gold, so you do not have foreign exchange, so there will be less movement of the capital. The third one we have is fixed exchange rate is not the equilibrium exchange rate. See so your fixed exchange rate is decided by the government on the basis of the value of gold. So this is not the equilibrium exchange rate because the market forces of demand and supply does not come into the picture in the fixed exchange rate system. So these were the merits and the merits and some types of fixed exchange rate system. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.